Hi everybody, my name is Bridget McCormick. I'm the manager of school programs at the Hudson River Museum. Um, and I am actually right now in the museum in an exhibit. And this exhibit is called, We Came to Party and Plan. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about what it looks like behind me. The artist who created this installation is named Derek Adams. And uh, we love Derek at the museum. We had a really great exhibit by him this summer called Buoyant. And this is the other exhibition that he made for us. Um, we were lucky because of the pandemic to be able to extend this. So we came to party and plan. This exhibit that I'm in right now is gonna be open until Sunday, October 18th. And in order to celebrate it and have a um, kind of a fun goodbye to this exhibit, we have a fun activity for you to do today, um, either at home or maybe you can come to the museum itself and see the artwork on view and kind of come into the party room and learn a little bit more about it. Um, you might notice behind me that anybody on the wall who's in this exhibit, any of the party goers um, have party hats on. And there's even party hats all over the table here. So, you know, have my blue party hat on. And a lot of times when you're celebrating something, you might be around family or friends, or you might even meet new people that help you have new ideas or new discussions, or maybe somebody who helps you solve a problem that you have. And that's what Derek is really talking about in this exhibition. He's talking about people connecting in a party atmosphere. So we're gonna connect today by thinking about uh, party hats and maybe how we can make our own hat. It's not from a store, but our own handmade party hat that maybe has some details on it that reflect who you are and what you care about and things that you're excited about. And I'm gonna show you the steps for making that hat here today. Um, if you are at the museum on October 17th, you'll actually be able to go into our Isaac Studio workshop and meet a few friends of mine, um, and they are gonna be able to show you how to do this too. So um, in case you can't make it, we wanted to make a video as well. What I have here on my table is a funny looking design on a piece of paper. This is called a template. And this is our party hat template. So the first thing you're gonna do is take some scissors and you're gonna cut that template out. So I have a cutout version right here. And you can see it's like an upside down triangle with a round top and there's like a little funny tab thing right here. So keep that in mind, that's important. Um, when you have your template cut out, I'm going to show you what to do next. You're gonna put the template on a piece of cardstock paper. And you're gonna take a marker and you're gonna trace that template. So I'm using my nice red marker so you can see it. Go around all the edges of my cutout party hat template. Make sure I don't forget to trace the tab. That is so important. Do, 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 do. And then, of course, our next step after tracing is to cut out your template. So again, scissors are gonna be on your table. You can also, if you're younger, ask an adult to help you with cutting out your template. If it's too tricky for you. So make sure you're safe. You know, cut out along all the lines that you traced your upside down triangle with a round top. Don't forget the tab part. Awesome. So, after your cutting out template part, you have a blank hat that you can spend some time decorating. So on your table, you're gonna have pieces of construction paper, some stickers, some tape, and some glue. Since I'm making my hat in the exhibit today, I'm gonna to be using my frog tape measure to attach to anything that I want to my hat because we don't like to use glue in exhibits to keep it safe. But I think because it's fall, it's my favorite month, October, it's my birthday month, and I love the color of the leaves in fall, that my party hat is going to be celebrating those things. So I'm actually gonna pick some paper that's orange and got some yellow sunburst patterns on it and there's actually some leaf cutouts in it. I'm gonna use some of this for my hat. Let's see, there's one. Let me find another leaf. Mm, here's a good one. This looks like an oak leaf. 
two leaves. I think I'm going to include maybe some, a little shape out of this nice red paper. Add a little red to my party hat. And I'll show you my plan in a minute. But I'm gonna set out all the kind of colors and designs I want on my hat first. I have some fun round stickers, which are great because I love polka dots. So I'm gonna include some of those on my party hat. It's not just leaves and my favorite color red, but also some polka dots for fun. And maybe for the last bit, I know I have some awesome shiny paper in here. You might wanna look around carefully at all the things that are on your table because you might find something that surprises you. But I wanna add a little bit of shine to my party hat. glossy paper. And then, again, if nothing is completely sticking yet, make sure that you use tape or glue to attach all of the parts that you wanted to have on your hat. Make sure they're not going to fall off your hat. So that wouldn't be any good. So tape is perfect for that. It's quick and safe and doesn't hurt the artwork. Awesome. Now I have my design. So I'm going to show everybody this on my computer. It's flat on the table. Doesn't look like much yet, but your next step is to find that special tab on your hat and just make sure you fold it in once like this. So fold it in on the side where your design is not. Fold it in on the blank side. Your design's on the other side. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start to kind of curve around your paper. You can even pinch on the bottom, the part where the tab is, and start to make your party shape. A lot of times what helps me is also using some tape right at the beginning to connect the inside part of your hat with the tap. Keeps it in place. Adult can help you with this part if you need it, either a parent or somebody in the workshop. Now I have my party art shape. And I'm gonna add a little more tape on the outside to make sure it doesn't unravel because that wouldn't be any good. I'm gonna keep it together. Awesome. And one little bit more in the bottom. Reinforce my hat. And then I have my own design. Party hats. I'm going to add a little bit on the top with some tissue paper because in the month of October some leaves start to fall. You might start to see branches on a tree which look more brown and grayish. But I'll have a little bit on the top to represent that. And then my final step for making a hat, of course, you need to be able to wear it. So you're going to take a hole puncher you're going to punch one hole on one side of your hat. And imagine looking through that hole right across to the other side of your hat. Punch another hole. And you're going to take a piece of string. You can even cut it pretty long at first because it's sometimes easier to work with a long piece of string. And you're going to just lace it through the hole like you would a shoestring on a shoelace. Tie a little knot on one side of your hat and test it out. Don't make it too tight. So you can go like this, maybe see how long your string might need to be to reach the other side. Make it about that size. You know, you don't want it too tight under your chin. You don't want it to be uncomfortable. So cut your string again to the right length and tie a knot on the other side. And ta-da! I have my own party hat that I can wear and we came to party and plan and it represents my favorite month, my favorite season, some of my favorite colors and it celebrates Derek Adams' 
and his use of party hats in this show. The funny thing about this exhibit is that you can't quite see on the screen, but all the party hats that the people are wearing in this exhibit are actually real. So he put real party hats in his artwork. He has real party plates and real party cups and real party um, napkins and um, forks and knives and spoons on here. Um, so it's really kind of awesome to see in person. And again, if you can't make it, think about parties and how you like to spend your time at parties and some of the memories you might have at parties and the things you've celebrated with your family and your friends and your loved ones, whether they're new or old. And we hope to see you soon. So thank you, Derek Adams. Thank you, We Came to Party and Plan. And thank you, Party Hats. My friend Beatty is here too, and I want to make sure that you meet her because you will probably meet her when you come to the workshop if you're able to. So be safe, I'm gonna put my mask on. And I'm gonna ask Beatty to just come around this way and say hello. So you get to know her face and know that she's gonna be here on Saturday the 17th to help you in this project at the museum in Isaac Studio, starting at 2 p.m. So again, hope to see you soon.